Hello there, how are we doing? Welcome to the live stream with the good old can of Coke Zero. How exciting. Wouldn't call the, the start very exciting, but we'll go with it. Right, as always, we've got ourselves a number of fine, fine products. The stream is brought to you by Fine Fine, so we've got a number of their products for the stream. I've actually picked up a couple of new items as well, which I will show in this stream. Never seen before. Never really been seen too much by me, because I've only just took them out of the packaging and gave them a quick test. But I will show you those. So, as always, yes, quick disclaimer, we can't show any B-roll, unfortunately, because Amazon don't like us showing B-roll, so we can't show it on. So I'm going to have to hold things up to the camera so you can have yourself a little look at what these products look like. As always, we'll start with this microphone, as it is the microphone I use for everything. So any kind of video you see me film, any audio recording, is coming from the Fine Fine K688 microphone. Now this does have XLR and USB-C connections on the back, which means that you can plug it into your PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Doesn't work in Xboxes, do remember that. I did have a an email saying now I could show it, but the they kicked me off last week for showing b-roll even though i was on the stream the entire time but never mind we persevere we continue so the k688 little ticker at the bottom of the screen we'll do that for each of these microphones so you can have yourself a listen so we'll show some mics we'll move on to another product but we will continue to use that microphone so you get yourself a decent idea of what they actually sound like do let us know if this background music is too loud as well okay what you're listening to now from the K688 is the XLR connection currently going into my Go XLR Mini, which means I can put some equalization and all that funky jazz on there just to change the way that it sounds a little bit. We do have the USB connection, which is going to sound like this. Hello, 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 hello. This is the USB connection on the K688. This is what it's going to sound like when you plug it straight into your computer there's no filters whatsoever being used on this microphone now this is the raw audio so if you use this on discord or teams you don't use any kind of filters this is what it sounds like if you want to do some gaming on your ps4 or ps5 this is what your teammates are going to hear this is the audio they will hear so if you fancy shouting some abuse at them because they've let you get killed on apex legends do it with some some quality with this microphone let's go back to xlr <coughs> oh i bet that cough came through twice there and you shut you, your door shut my door shut my door now the cats are just running around right so this microphone also comes with audio monitoring which means you can plug a set of these earphones in and you can monitor the audio, make sure that you're coming through and you've got the volume levels right. Speaking of volume levels, you get two on the back, one for the gain of the mic and one for the audio monitoring as well. It doesn't come in a stand, so you will need your own stand or boom arm, but you do get a converter in the box to, to put it onto a boom arm. So it's a 5 eighths of an inch thread to begin with. You get a 3 eighths of an inch thread to a 5 eighths converter, so you can put it onto a boom arm like we have. Very nice feeling foam filter on the front as well, which obviously you can pull off. If they, if it does get damaged like mine because my cats have chewed in, you can actually purchase replacements of these. I've just not got around to doing it. You do get a mute button on the front, which you can probably hear me turning the mug there, which is right there. That will work in USB mode because we're going through XLR. That just won't work for us at the moment. It comes in its own shock mount as well. You don't need to install that. The mic's already installed in that. You literally just screw it onto a stand or a boom arm and away you go. So that's a bit of an idea of what this one sounds like. This is currently $72.99. Let me just have a quick look on the, the Amazon and make sure there's no vouchers because sometimes you do get vouchers on there as well. So you can save a little bit on the price. And I'm not seeing this one for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Unless they've had like a, a massive sellout. 
I don't know. So we're going to presume that there's no offer on there at the moment on this mic. Which means we're going to move on to... I'm going to go to my little wireless microphone. Because it means I can show you other products and actually move around a little bit. So our next microphone I want to show you, which is great if you do vlogging or you film content from your mobile phone. Because we've got this little one, once again from Fine Fine. Go on, get in focus. My camera can still see my face, can't it? There we are, I have to duck down a little bit. This is the Fine Fine M6 wireless microphone. Now, this charges... Let's see if I can still speak here and hold this over by the camera. This charges through USB-C. You will get six hours of battery life from a full charge on this. We've got the little power button on the side to switch it on, switch it off, and that doubles up as a mute button as well. We have the blue lights on the front to say we're active. When we are muted, it will turn red. And you get the clip on the back as well. So you can clip it to yourself. So I think we need to have a little listen to what this sounds like. Let me start changing tickers around so we know which microphone we are using. And let's enable it. And this is your wireless microphone. Let's move this one out of the way. So we don't get confused with what we're using. And this is your Fine Fine M6 wireless microphone. Now I will get an image on screen so you can have a quick look at the the receiver. So this is currently $29.99 and I know there's a lot of UGC content creators who do film from mobile phones. This is ideal. This is going to beat any inbuilt microphone on a mobile device. Now let's have a, a little look here. That is the wrong screen Andy, that's better. So this one here, this is your receiver on the left hand side. So it is USB-C, it will work with iPhones, but you will need a converter. But if you've got the brand new iPhone, which is a USB-C port, I imagine this is just going to be plug and play and work. Not that I've tested that myself. I've used this in a Samsung Galaxy S21, works absolutely perfectly. You'll see there's a USB-C port on the side here as well. That is for charging your mobile phone whilst you're using the microphone. Or that also doubles up as a USB-C headphone port, so you can do audio monitoring as well. Now, the best audio I get from this is when I hand hold it like this. But if you attach it to yourself, the best place I've found is kind of like just above my belly. Let's, let's attach it. So somewhere around there is the, the best audio that I get for this. So... I think it sounds great. My cat's just going wild and playing with toys behind us as well. Cheapskate Gaming, hello. Welcome, buddy. Hope you're all well, sir. I'm all right, mate. The only problem I've got, apart from feeling tired, is that I've just bit my tongue eating my dinner. It was not a pretty sight. So we're drinking a nice cold Coke Zero to numb it a little bit. And uh, we're going through our, our repertoire of microphones, as well as a couple of new products we've got as well. How's things for you, Cheapskate? We all good? Right, I think I'll best show you the Super Sal we've got. Boom! Hey, when that happened, mate, I, I, I kind of thought it was just me at one point who bit my tongue. And normally I just kind of scrape it, but today I've kind of gone like, through it it was oh, it was rough gets worse as you get older as well it takes longer to heal right you've just seen on the screen super sale that is because these are currently on sale and you're probably thinking Andy they're really colorful what are they these are for keeping your cables very tidy so they are velcro we just pull them off literally get yourself a bunch of cables put them in there and just literally stick them down. So it just stops them from kind of flying all over the place, which I'm just looking at the back of my PC because I actually attached quite a few of these and it was looking half decent. But I started like unplugging things and plugging things back in. So I need to put a couple more of these on my, my setup. But these have had quite a big drop in price from what I can see. 
They were $9.99. They're currently $5.49, so 45% off. You get 100 of these Velcro strips as well. You're going to do very well to use all 100. And obviously they're all different colours as well, so you can kind of colour code things. You'll see that I've lost a lot of my green ones. That's what I've been using. Look at my cats. Look at my cats going wild. <laughs> the German flag. Do you know what? Of all the national flags, I actually like the German one. I think the German flag is actually my favourite one. I think it's because when I was really young, my dad was into photography. And he had some like Kodak stuff. And I'm pretty sure it was the same colours as the German flag. So that kind of stuck with me and I was like, yeah, do you know what? Favourite flag, that one. Ah, Right, so yeah, so $5.49. Those are actually a bargain. They really are. Highly recommend those. But let me show you something that I've just picked up. I've got two things I've just picked up this week. Let's go with, let's go with this. So this is the Kiora Photo memory card holder. Now I had a memory card holder, but it didn't have micro SD ports. Whereas this one, oh, look at that. You can see my cards, beautiful. Beautiful. So what we've got here is a holder which can take micro SD or the full size SD cards. They just slot into place and so far so good. So they've not fallen out, which is very nice. Please seen the pussies fall in the bath. Don't surprise me. Cat's mental. But uh, what I do like about this as well, let's come to this camera, is even though you've got all these micro SD ports, you can actually put SD cards over the top of them. So you can hide all your little micro SDs. So rather than having individual slots for everything, you can actually put fill these with micro SDs and then put SD cards on top as well. Now this is made of like real robust plastic and the image I saw on Amazon, let me see if I can find it. I'm sure there's an image of a car driving over it and it didn't break. It's not something I've tried myself. It's probably not something I'm going to try either. Because now my look, it would actually break my little, my little holder. And ain't nobody got time for that. So I think I need to put the exact thing in. Okay, I've got, I think I've got a list in here. This is... Oh no, that is the one. That is the one. Right, can I find this image of a car? Here we are. Image of a car here. Better to drive over it. Anti-knock. So, I mean, I wouldn't recommend trying that, driving over it. But it is water resistant as well and dust proof. Great stuff. You also get that little attachment as well. Now, I think I've, I think I've left that in the box. So here we are. There's the box for it. And, I mean, that attachment is probably not something that I would personally use myself, but you do get one. So you can start clipping it onto things. But, it is well built. It really is. It's decent. And I've moved from one of these little cases. So I have this little metal case. Which, to be fair, is... He's all right. I think I'm going to put this one in the car, to be honest. But if you're kind of out and about and you do like photography or videography, especially videos, because you can fill these cards up very quickly. That's actually a decent bit of kit. So that is one of the latest things that I've bought. She's got very wet paws. So yeah, it does clip shut as well so that's clamped down now so that is just not going to open until we flip it like that so yeah i do like the fact that you can put your sds on top of your micro sds on there quite useful that is where did i put my earphones sorry i like to have a little listen to some tunage Re really good for drone users absolutely 
Yeah, so I normally go to my brother's and do some filming. And to be fair, I was looking for some big SD cards to put in there. And I've got one that's plugged into my card reader, which is for this camera here when I go out shooting. And sometimes I film at my desk with this camera. And I know the SD card was on top of my PC and it's no longer there. So I think my cats have knocked it off somewhere. I don't know where it's gone. I did have the torch out earlier, trying to have a quick look, but I just couldn't find it. But I like the idea of having a drone. But isn't there like loads of legislation now? Like you need licenses and only certain places where you can film. I've got a friend who's got a drone actually. He gets some really good shots on his. I think he might have the DJI something or other. But he looks decent. Right, let's go to another little microphone. Let's come to this little RGB one here. Okay, the good old fine fine A8 microphone. Now, I might as well just let you have a quick look around it. So here we are, RGB microphone. We get ourselves a wind filter on the front. Already comes installed in a shock mount, which is very nice. Connects through USB-C. And we also get audio monitoring on this as well. So a three and a half mil jack. Comes with a base, nice rubber bottom on there. All made of plastic, so it's not something you're gonna really want to knock around too much. On the back, we have ourselves a button, which is for changing the light sequences. So you can select a, an individual light, which will ma match your background. So have I just gone past red? I think I have. Let me go back to red. There we are. So we've got a nice red light there, which matches our background. Uh, just use the under 250 gram drones, eh? We used in mouse places. I imagine the one he's got is quite heavy. I'll have to have a look then. Because I, I had a drone years ago. I think the wife bought it, man. And it was very light. And I think the camera was like really bad on it, like 640 by 480. But it was very difficult to like get up and start flying around. So hard. But I imagine the new ones now are much easier. Right, you'll see we've got ourselves a nice little colour sequence here as well. Larger drones by new legislations. Yeah, see, I think I'd want one of the big daddy drones. I think anyway. Until I couldn't fly it, and I'd be like, I don't want to use this no more. But you do get some really good video footage on them. So I do like the idea of having one. Right, we've got this nice little mode here, which is going to go through a blended mode of colour sequences. We also get another mode, which will do a static colour of each light. So we're going from blue to purple, into the pink colour, into reds, oranges, yellows. And we also get ourselves a mute button on top as well. So you'll see a green light. When we tap that, red means that we are muted, obviously. But I think we need to have a little audio test. Have a listen to it. Now, I think I've set this up right, because my LBS decided to like disable all my microphones. And here we are. So I've removed that ticker, put that ticker on. This is your Fine Fine A8 microphone. So this is a condenser microphone, main audio through the front with pretty much any mic. You'll get a little bit from the sides. It will try and cut a bit out from the back, but not as much as a dynamic microphone. Flame of the West. Welcome, Flame. How are we doing, buddy? How are you today? The new Mini 3 and 4 drones. It's every bit as good as the big drones now. 40 mile an hour. That's faster than what I drive my car. Yeah, I could do with one of those in my life. Really could. Yeah, so what do we think of the audio on this? This is your fine, fine A8 microphone. Let me just get it loaded up on Amazon as well. Because my phone is telling me $42.99. And... Oh, I know why things aren't showing up. Silly Andy. Here we go, that's better, that's better. Right, here is your A8 microphone. Now you do get some different colours that you can select here. So there is a pink version and a white version. 
which are two dollars more expensive so 44.99 42.99 for the black version which is what we're demonstrating now there's also another version where you can change the pickup pattern so you can have directional omnidirectional stereo and there's one more as well which i can't think of on the top of my head but this is just the standard a8 condenser microphone you help me so much buy a webcam you are my go-to guy for such stuff thank you that's actually really nice cheers dude which which webcam did you buy i mean the webcam videos i literally just try to show people what it looks like love the sound of this mic yeah i think the condenser mics you can get some really good audio with them the only problem i tend to have with condensers myself is when there's a lot of room noise going on but if you've not got room noise then they're awesome they really are ben how we doing mate welcome buddy i'm i'm all right ben apart from biting my tongue earlier i'm good how are you how are the park runs going yeah, so 42.99 is this one here. Obviously, the closer you get, the better it's probably going to sound. But the way I kind of slur words, you can probably hear a lot of plosives. What do you think about the FineFi K669C? Do you know what? I've not tried it. That's one mic I've not tried, so I, I don't really know at the moment. Hopefully, I can get older one and we'll give it a test out. But the, the, oh, the Creative Live Cam Sync V3. I know it. I remember it. That's the one with the button on top in it to digitally zoom in. Can't say that word. Digitally zoom in. I do remember it. Got my fastest time of the year yesterday. Awesome. What time did you get, Ben? Right, now, as I'm talking into this mic, let's move on to another product. I will show you something else that I've literally picked up. I think I delivered a few days ago, but I've just tested it out today. 22 minutes 56. That is very quick. The Orky webcam. Do you know what? The Orky webcam, for how cheap it is, is actually decent. The colours are very dull on it, so you will need to use something like OBS, where you can add some saturation to it. But once you do that, it's actually a really good webcam for how cheap it is the anchor c200 i remember that one as well yes we did do a review on that one that was actually quite good as well if i remember right you that one's got the auto focus on so you can put things next to the lens and it'll pick up the focus mm. right amazon we had uh is that Ela m huffman started following thank you so much for the follow i'm going to shoot some confetti on the stream just for you thank you for the follow i think my music's gone off so i need to sort that out oh, let's have a little listen to this thing about no one said it but i think it has 60 fps Oof, i need to i need to go back and remember i need to watch my video again because i've there's that many webcams i forgot what resolutions and frame rates to do I have just had another webcam now, which I am currently creating a video on, which allows you to view, you know, like electronic components, you can get really close and like view all that stuff. Two of them all keys for a tenner. Mate, for a tenner, they're good. They really are. I was shocked at how good the microphone is as well, because the mics on webcams notoriously are pretty bad. And it doesn't help that your webcam mic is obviously further away than a standalone mic. So, as you're speaking, it's obviously going to pick up a lot of the room noise as well. But that Orky one was amazingly good. Fortnite. What camera are you using now? I'm currently using my mirrorless camera. So this is a Sony A6400. I'll tell you what, I'll, have you seen the Insta360 link? I've got that set up here. Let me just move it on my carousel and I'll show you that one because of all the webcams I've tested so far, this Insta has been the best one, but it is quite pricey. Do you work for vidIQ? I don't work for vidIQ. I'm a, a moderator for the chat. So you may see me in their live streams. We get Jackbox 10. I don't know, mate. I never got Jackbox 9. 
But I think if you have got Amazon Prime, I think you can get Jackbox 7 for free. Because they do free games every month. So if you're on Amazon Prime, keep an eye out. You do have videos about webcams, but which DSR would you recommend as a webcam? It's going to be the cheapest. The only like big, dad, uh, big daddy cameras that I use are the Sony ones. So this is an A6400, which is a little bit old now, but they kind of hold the value, so they're quite expensive. I think a brand new one of this is probably around like $800. I would look, I think people have recommended a Panasonic G6. Because you can literally plug a cable in and away you go. So yeah, Panasonic G6. The only reason I stick with Sony is because the autofocus is kind of like the best from what I've seen from all the other cameras. It's the only reason why I went for Sony. But yeah, let me fire up this into the webcam. You can have a quick look. Okay, let's go over to this scene here. Here we are. So what this camera here is the Insta. Obviously, this one you're seeing here is oh, I can't even get my fingers right. That one there is my main camera. So I'll look at this big one here. So this is the Insta360 Link. Of all the webcams I've ever tested, this is the best one. Now you're currently looking at a 1080p image, but you can do 4K. My cat's decided to come and run on the desk. So what you're looking at now is a 4K image. I've got all like bits on me as well. God. See, I say good the webcam is. I can see all fluff on me. They need to update their app. They say it would take five years to get 100 subs. Took me, took you one year. Tremendous, well done. I'm all about those three games. Love my, yeah, this, I know they had Football Manager on there recently, which I put in my account and I've just never installed it. Because I would get addicted to Football Manager. And I'd literally do nothing else. Talk about the G6, G7. Yeah, I, obviously the G6 will be cheaper. If you're on stuff like eBay. I'd pick up a second hand one. And just use it for streaming. Because obviously a big camera like that one. This one here. Is going to look better than kind of any webcam. Not the best focus up. Um, if you're using it like a webcam. I'd... I'd just manually focus it. I'd turn the aperture up a little bit. So you get a little bit of a blurry background. But kind of keeps every, everything in the foreground in focus. So I would look at doing manual focus on there. I hit five views. Lego. Don't know what that means. But five views. Awesome. Okay. So... 4K image you're looking at now. I know the stream's going out at 720, so you might not be able to see like the full benefit. But what you also get with this as well, so I'm not going to touch this webcam now. And I can rotate it so I can do vertical video. And I can actually like move it around as well. I can move left and right with this, not up and down though. So let's go back to our 4K. Oosh. So if you do go out a shot like we have there, can you see I've got these presets up here already set up? So I can press face, that will come to me. Chair will go over to there. It remembers like zoom and stuff as well. So there's a light behind me there, ignore the bald head. And obviously my camera there. But if you kind of set a position like this, you can save that position. So you do get a decent zoom on there as well. Have you used the Behringer? I haven't, mate. No. I used to have a Behringer mixing desk, but I've never had one of their microphones. Sorry, I'll keep looking at that camera rather than this one. But no, I mean, the main microphones that I use now are fine, fine. Just because I think for the value of them, they're really good. Right, other things you get as well. So you can do auto exposure. You can... Basically play around with ISO settings and shutter speed, which is not something you get on many other webcams. Also got an exposure curve, so we can plot some points on the graph there, start moving it around. And basically fine tune that image, you'll completely cock it up like that. Usual stuff like white balance, you can manually configure all that. 
We also get tracking as well. So if I give it the old 05, you'll see that we can move around a little bit now. Let me just go back to my other microphone. And I'll show you what, what the tracking is like. Oosh, there we are. Let's move him down there. Okay, so he was listening to the A8 through there. We're back on the M6, so keep an eye on the ticker at the bottom. What camera is that? Kieran, you're right, buddy. How you doing, mate? Long time now speak. Uh, this is currently the Insta360 link. So this is just the webcam. This one here is our Sony A6400 camera. The Firefine H9. Is that the headset, the H9? I don't know why, but I think you should review the new gaming headset. I've actually got the the H6. I will show you the H6 in a moment. Okay, so we've got tracking. Have I still got it enabled? Yeah, a bit of tracking on the go here. So we can actually like walk around and the webcam is just going to track us wherever we go. It's probably going to lose me. Yeah, I think it lost me then. I think it's picked up the light. And obviously, it's so used to the lights on my bald head. It's like, that's a bit shiny. So if you give it the high five, it should. Sorry, I don't think I've got my hand straight. No, I think I've broke it. I've broke the webcam. So it should track. Let me come back to my, my gimbal. Go back to face. Right, let's try again. Oh, there we are. We're tracking now. So yeah, what it should do in an ideal world is basically track us wherever we go. Oosh. Let's go back to face. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's one of the features. You've also got, did I leave that tracking on? You've also got one where you can do an L shape. It never likes my hand though. And we should be able to Should be able to do this there we are and go up and it zooms in come down zoom back out so it's got some little quirky features like that i mean i'm not sure many people would use a lot of that stuff proper nice setup mate cheers buddy how's life with you kieran i love your channel because i haven't seen anyone else review so many webcams yeah see i initially started with very cheap webcams the problem is, is that a lot of people don't want the very cheap webcams. So we ended up trying to upgrade and start reviewing stuff like Logitech and Razer and Elgato. I got 69 million views on my latest shorts. That is actually amazing. Well done, dude. Right, some more features this webcam has got. So you've just seen a bit of the tracking. It's actually got a whiteboard mode. My whiteboard's over there though, so it's probably not going to work. But if you've got a whiteboard behind you here, it will zoom in on the whiteboard. We've got overhead mode. We've also got desk view mode. So if you've got it mounted onto a screen like this, if we tap that, you can have a look at my desk. Woo! Well, kind of my desk. So what this will do is mount, uh, mount, mount is the wrong word. It will point to the 45 degree angle so we can like showcase things. But you'll notice in that mode, things just look a little bit elongated. But uh, it, it, it's all right, it's not too bad. So like I say, this is quite a pricey webcam. This is like $299. Image quality wise is very good for a webcam. I've been tempted to kind of sack my main camera off and use this for the live streams. I've just kind of not got around to doing it. Plodding along, you really remind me of the old time. Yes, I remember the old computer shop. Happy days. Oh, those days, dude. You do a lot of work with CCTV cameras now, don't you? I've just... I, I use Blue Iris for my CCTV cameras on the PC. And I've just hooked up a real link camera to it. Got it all set up. I just need to get around to mounting the outside. Uh, using the GoPro. Mate, very good image quality if you can use the GoPro as a webcam. The, the problem you might have, well, you'll have it with any camera really, is that you need good lighting on yourself. 
As long as you've got good lighting, the GoPro will be awesome. It'll, it should look much better than a normal webcam as well. How do you like the table now? I've, mate, I've not even looked at it. How's the table looking? Useless camera on your phone. You can do that. If you've got an old model phone, then you can... There's plenty of software that allow you to do that. Evian is one of them. I tend to use uh, Camo. I think there's a link in the YouTube description for Camo. Especially if you've got a an iPhone. Like, you can do all, like, blurs and stuff on there. Really good. Networking anything IP. Have you used Home Assistant? I haven't, mate. No. I... Do you know all like the things that you speak into, like Alexa and whatever else? Like I tend to steer clear from them. Just I'm not keen. What I have done now is that I've got a stream deck. So I've got one of those little bad boys. And my lights behind me are nan nano leaf lights. So I can like turn them on and off. Which is actually quite nice. So I like that stuff. Ghoul, how are we doing? Welcome, buddy. About light here for a first. Cheap softbox light worthy. Yeah, get a light that has got a softbox on there. So let me get my camera turned around. So the first light that I bought was that one there, that ring light from newer, which has been very good. You can actually purchase a like a softbox to go around it. I've never done it. It's like an extra twelve pounds, something like that. But I've just changed to using that one there with the soft box on top. And what I'm liking about that one is that I can control it with a remote control. So I can like obviously turn it off, turn it up and down. So I would recommend getting one where you've got control of the intensity of the light. Because I have actually got other lights as well. Sorry, that one weren't my first light. I had some before those. Where you literally switch them on and switch them off. You had no control over the light. So get one that's got a dial on there to change the intensity. Or even better, if you can get one with a remote control. That's even better. So that's a newer light. That's newer as well. Yeah, so we've got a couple of newer lights. Goal is tired. You know what I've done today, Goal? I've bit my tongue eating my dinner. It was not good. I mean, it wasn't that bad that I stopped eating, but oh, I might hurt. What happened to the guy who used to be the first one to comment on your videos? I don't know, mate. Might have just moved on. Just didn't like my bald head no more. I was like, I've had enough of this. I'm going. Right, Melanie. Melanie D. Wilson with the follow on Amazon. Melanie, you can have some fireworks as well. Well, some confetti. Thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Don't, maybe. I don't know. It, it could happen. Right, let me show you a cheap microphone. And then once I show you this, I'll move on to something else where I can sit at the desk and show you. Okay, so this is... Let's go to this one here. Could do with a coat. Mate, my mom has just given me another crate of 24 cans. Come and get yourself one. You are more than welcome. Okay, so this is the Fine Fine A6V microphone. So we've got the RGB light. Unfortunately, you can't change that light. So the sequence you're watching there is what you're stuck with. You can mute the microphone and that will turn the light off, which is something that I actually prefer on microphones for the light to completely go off to now that I'm muted. Now we do get the the wind filter on the front, that's already installed, you don't need to install that. Got a shock mount, that is already installed when you take it out of the box as well. We do get volume control for the mic, which is on the bottom here. Once again, love the positioning on that. So rather than having it on the back and kind of reaching around, I like that it's on the bottom. Tripod is a little bit flimsy, but it is a very cheap microphone. Currently $34.99. So you are kind of limited to that position. But you can unscrew that. And it is a 5 eighths of an inch thread, which means that you can mount it onto 
your round stand. By the way, can you move the... I'm looking... Yeah, mate, I'll... I will show you the AM8 in a moment. Let me quickly run through this one. I will quickly fire up another product so you can have a good listen to this mic and see if it's something anybody would be interested in. Then, yeah, I will show you the AM8. Tell you what, let's, let's flip over to the audio from this mic now. Hello, hello. So you are now listening to the A6V microphone. So I've used this on a couple of previous streams. And one of our regulars, Amy, says that she prefers the audio from this from any of the other mics, even the more expensive ones like the AM8, K688. This is her go-to one. This is the one that she prefers. Are you going to buy the new... Oh, no, I'm not. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S21. I'm happy. I'm not one of those people that constantly changes the phone. Just don't have any need to. I've read lots of stuff about possible overheating on there, but some people say that theirs don't overheat, so... I don't know, but I'm... No, I'm good. I'm not somebody who has to keep buying the latest stuff. For flexibility, I use the Ulanzi lights. They've actually got some really good stuff. Ulanzi. They're about, about 20 quid. Yeah, mate, they're, they're good. I've got one of their tripods, which... Let me just go and grab it. Oh, okay, so here is the Ulanzi tripod, which, to be fair, it makes sense for me to do this one next. I just need to find it on the carousel. There you are, so the MT44, this is by Ulanzi. You don't get the light on there, but that's just to show that you can actually mount lights on these if you want to, rather than mobile phones and cameras. So let me unscrew my light. Do you have any hate on Apple? Nope. No hate whatsoever. No hate on any product from any brand. Not at all. I don't understand why people fight over like Apple's better than Samsung, uh, Android. Android's better than Apple. Just use whatever benefits you. It's too much fighting in the world. We don't need it. So there we are, good old Ulanzi tripod. Now, this extends, I wasn't aware of that when I first bought it. I thought literally that was the tripod. Here comes my cat. But that does extend quite a good distance. You are right, Loon? You come to cause some carnage? Cat ran away. I also didn't realize because Silly Andy was screwing a mount on top of this to put my mobile phone without realising that that flips open to put mobile phones in there. I didn't know that. And I was still pleased with it as well. I was like, oh yeah, I can mount a converter on there without realising it was already built in. So you've got the ball head on there as well. So you can rotate that around. Your legs open up. Like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we've got this little red screw as well. So once you get your legs in position, just tighten that. Just stops them from closing back up. But that's bailed me out a lot. Because I say on every stream, but I go to my brother's house to do some filming. And for some reason, I don't know why, I keep forgetting to pick this tripod up. Like, I take the camera off there. Pack the camera away. Take that. I'm, every time I'm like, oh, I forgot my, my tripod again. But I've usually got that in my laptop bag. And that has saved me from coming home and getting my tripod. So now that's been very good. So what do we think of this, this microphone? All right. I want to know what equipment did you use for my first setup? Right. Well, when I first... As in, like, first started creating content and, like, streaming and stuff like that. If it's that, then I was using... I think it was a Logitech C922 webcam. God, what microphone was I using? 
I have no idea. I think I might actually have some very old clips from when I first started streaming. I'll have to have a look. Oh, I think I was using a Sennheiser microphone. Sennheiser 615, I think. Uh, gorgeous stand. It's actually really good. That is currently in the US $25.95. Are you in the UK, cheapskate? Or are you in the US? Do, 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 do. Who lands a MT44? So in the UK, I think it's about £33. Yeah, it's about £33 in the UK. I have put my big camera on there as well, and it held it. If you start putting extra things like big lenses and obviously screens, then there's too much weight on there, and you'll mount it on there, and it'll start, like, juddering down. But if you're using it for, like, mobile phones, things that are light, then it's perfect. I bought the 14 Pro Max a few days before the 15. Oh, mate, got him. Which one do you prefer, FGUS SL40 or the a AMA? Do you know what? They're both good. They really are. I ain't got the FGUS no more, unfortunately, but it was... It was good. Decent microphone. But you can have a listen to this one right now. So. Let me just quickly show it on camera. Sorry if I'm rattling the mic as well. Okay. So we have the Fine Fine AM8. Now ignore how bad this looks. Because that's what happens when you have cats. They decide that they like these foam filters and start chewing them. We have the a mute button on the front. I've got a few scratches on here as well, because I keep manhandling it. We've got this nice little RGB light on the bottom, which you can control. So on the back here, we've got a light, a light, sorry, a button, which will control the lights. So we can go through each of the static sequences and you can select whichever color you want. So let's go to red, seeing as we've got a red background. Beautiful. You also get controls for the the gain and for the audio monitoring. Now, this microphone is USB-C and XLR as well. There's a slot for the audio monitoring. You get your own stand. Now, the good thing about this mic, which you don't normally get on mics, is you get both the th uh, 3 8 of an inch and a 5 8 of an inch thread in there. Which means that you don't need to go and buy a converter because the converter is already built in to the stand if you want to mount it onto a boom arm. Right, so let me plug my XLR cable in and you can have a listen. <laughs> I like your username. I have a wedgie. Welcome, buddy. I'm alright, mate. How are you? Getting a neck out. Um, yes, sorry. That's because me being really stupid is that I enable both microphones. Cheers, Kieran. Yeah, I, I tend to do things like that. I, I enable two microphones, which is never good. Don't do that. Right, have a listen to this. Testing, testing, this is your fine, fine AM8 microphone. Yeah, sorry, dude, it was me. I had two microphones enabled. See, that's why I shouldn't do live streaming. Just cock everything up, don't I? Okay, AM6, you can go AM8. Well, is that better? Hopefully, I've only got one microphone enabled now. I think so. Just based on a dumb story. I'd love to hear this story. <laughs> it's a great username. You would watch me play video games. Mate, you don't want to watch me. I, I turn into a different kind of monster when I play video games. Normally, if I play Battle Royale games, I do a lot of swearing. So, <laughs> you don't want to see me in that light. Do you think there's a big difference between XLR and USB on a mic? I personally prefer XLR just because 
I'm using my GoXLR Mini. Let me find the software. And I'll show you why I quite like the the XLR stuff. Because here we are. This is my GoXLR software. So all this stuff down here, I can start messing about with equalization, which changes the way the microphone sounds. So I just like the flexibility of the XLR mics. Now, if you use something like OBS, you can actually download filters to put on there where you get settings like this. So I personally prefer XLR, but yeah, we can have a listen to the, di the, the difference now. So I'm going to go from XLR. We will go to USB. Okay, what you're listening to now is the USB connection on this mic. So you'll probably notice that it doesn't have such a fuller sound as the XLR. That's mainly because of like my Go XLR Mini is allowing me to do stuff like that. I should do ASMR. Would you like that? This is your fine, fine AMA microphone. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, so this is USB. It's probably a little bit quieter as well. Let me add a gain on here. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. So I've just added a quick gain in my OBS. So you might be able to pick up a little bit more background noise. Or you should be louder. But you might be able to pick up the sound from my PC as well. So if you use stuff like OBS, you can just basically bang gains on there. That's the mic I've ready to and the recommendation to also got the wireless mics. The wireless mics are great. Have you just bought everything that I recommended? <laughs> God, I'm such a good salesman. No, I um, I literally just try to show products and just let people decide if it's something that they want. I can share. I can share with the class. Tremendous. I find it hard enough doing pre-record. Bang on in the life, mate. You want to see how many mistakes I make when I do like videos for YouTube? Like, when I'm freestyling like this, it's not too bad. I mean, I'll slur my words and stutter a little bit. But if I'm trying to read from a script... The amount of swearing I do. I like to swear as well. No, you don't swear. No way. I don't think I'll move this on the carousel either. To select the AM8. Uh, where are you, Mr. AM8? There you are. Okay, so this is the USB you're listening to now. Let's go back to XLR. Hello, hello, hello. This is back on the old XLR. So you can probably notice there's a little bit of a difference between XLR and USB. Now, I've just had... I've not even set this up yet. I mean, if you know like the Fine Fine products, you may have seen some videos on that, which is the SC3. So it's a mixing desk, which is very cheap, I believe. I might have it on the carousel, to be fair. Let me see how much this is at the moment in the US. Da, da, da. I've got it on here. I have currently $49.99. Uh, do bear in mind as well that you've got Prime Day coming up. Is it the 11th and the 12th of October? But Fine Fine have actually released their own little mixing desk. Which, if you're just starting out with streaming, it might actually be a good purchase. But I'll let you know a little bit more once I actually get around to testing it. So I don't really want to jump on and say, I'll buy this if I've not tested it myself. But I mean, size-wise, it's really small. I actually quite like it. And you can put condensers or dynamic mics in there. It is XLR as well. But what I'm liking are the mute buttons on the bottom. So we can mute the mic, mute the headset. So we will have a play with that. It's got some really nice colours on there as well. But let me test it out. Let me see what you can and can't do with it. Because... I'm thinking it's not like the GoXLR Mini where, you know, where I've just showed you on the software where you can change the equalization. 
I've got a feeling you can't do it on this because I don't think you need any software. So what it might allow you to do is, for one, connect an XLR mic up to your PC. And for two, just basically give you those sliders so you can turn your volume up and down. But let me have a play. Right, so what do we think about this mic? Any good? The old AM8? I mean, it looks the business. It really does. You'll want to speak directly in this top part as well. So I've, let me do my little noise filter thing, my white noise. White noise test. So as it is a dynamic mic, if we go behind the microphone, it shouldn't bring too much noise to it. Okay, so you should be able to hear that. Okay, so hopefully you could hear that there. So when we go towards the back of the mic, it should eliminate quite a lot of that noise. It should really make it a lot more quiet. Right, let's, let's see what else we've got. Yeah, so you'll, you'll notice as well that I've been switching over to this other camera. So this camera here is the Sony A6400. They have just released the A6700. Sorry, I'm trying to find it on my carousel again. I need an assistant for this. Here we go. So, A6400. I've actually got two. So, the image you're looking at here is also an A6400. So, I've got two of these bad boys. This one you're looking at here is the lens you actually get with the camera. So, this is the stock lens. This one here is a separate one that I've purchased. It is in the carousel. It's the Sigma 16mm 1.4 aperture. So that basically allows me to get a nice blurry background. So if I put my can of Coke up there, it should put that in focus, have a blurry background. And I can actually turn that down so we get more of a blurry background. Or we can turn it up and get everything in focus. So that's the benefit of the the sigma lens just allows you to get more light onto the image and get a nice blurry background but i've had right which camera so this was my original one this was one i always use this was my second one that i bought literally for live streaming it's been brilliant i've had zero issues with it it's been great obviously you can get them to work on a pc like a webcam but you will need a capture card to be able to do it the reason why we went for these cameras as well is that there's the recording limit is I think it's 13 hours. So if you do look at getting a camera to be a webcam, always look at recording limits because a lot of them allow you to do video for like 30 minutes, then the camera will shut itself down. So be mindful of that because I think I had a camera back in the day. I did. It was a Nikon or Nikon, however you pronounce it. And it used to just turn itself off all the time there was a firmware update which allowed me to keep it on for longer but straight out of the box these cameras allow you to basically film for 13 hours before they switch off they are 4k cameras as well they're capable of 30 frames per second if you film in 1080 you can get 120 frames per second so if you're looking to slow down footage then you can do that Sorry, I've just realised that my, my my chat thing here as well didn't scroll down. Sorry, where do you put... I had no software, right. Oh, that's gone small. Right, let me have a read of this. In the sixth grade, I was 11. I wore these pants where they're too big, they're too small. Walking around the halls, my pants sagging. Give me a constant wedgie. Girl walks right up to me so we can see you underwear. Really looking, bounce caught me off guard. I have a wedgie. So, <laughs> so that's just the username there. I have a wedge. To be fair, at least there's a backstory to it. I like that. Uh, you got the Go XLR, but is it good sound decent on the... I've never used one of those, so I'm unsure. A lot of people do use those, though, and I've never heard of any issues, so I think you should be fine with one of those. I watched a lot of your content, then looked at what was... 
VFM. What's a VFM? Ben likes to swear. Nah, you don't swear, Ben. Saucy. Welcome, buddy. I use the AM8 and Scarlet. I don't, you know, I need to have the turn nearly to max than that. It works well. Yeah, if you if you set your mog fan up on your PC as well, never set your mog volume to 100% in Windows. Because I've found I used to always get like crackling with mine. So I normally set mine to like 83, something like that. And then I will turn the volume up on the microphone itself or the mixing desk. Little tip there. Value for money. Yeah, see like little acronyms like VFM. I'm really bad. Like I just don't clock on to what they mean. But now cheese for kind of supporting and watching the videos. Do you know any Valve games? Wasn't that like Quake? Wasn't that a Valve game? Or are we talking about something completely different? Right, yes. If you are on Amazon, have a look at our carousel. So all the products that you see in the carousel are products that we've actually got like here. If there's anything that you want to have a look at, please let me know. Because we've got a number of things in there. And I mean, I just, I don't want to waste people's time by showing things that people are not interested in. Oh, I was going to show you my new little charger I bought as well. Oh, Ben loves me. Oh, Half-Life. What did I miss? Was I late? Mate, you're never late. Oh. Right, what I've just had is this 120 watt charger look at that beast now this is really overkill for what i've bought it for so can you see those blue ports on the end there's a little laptop in between them so you can get 65 watts of power on either of those ports so if you've got i think it's like most of the macbooks these days there are some laptops as well that charge through usb-c you can charge it directly with this little bad boy and i plugged it in today and I used one of these charging ports with my, my mobile phone and I got super speed charging. Not seen that on my phone. All I've ever had is fast charging, but I got super speed with this. Like, ooh, that's exciting. Team for I do know Team Fortress 2. Do you know what? I had a game of Team Fortress probably two, three weeks ago. Hadn't played it in years. I got annihilated on it. I got absolutely destroyed, and I just tried out the Counter-Strike 2.0, or 2, whatever it is. Tried that last night. Once again, I got destroyed. We're setting up text-to-speech. Lovely. There's one acronym there I know. TTS. Unless I'm completely wrong with that. Monster of a charger could charge a Tesla. Maybe. Yeah, so... What I like as well, because obviously if you're using every one of these ports, you're going to lose power across the ports. But on the back of this, it tells you how much power you're going to get from each of the ports. So we can get a max of 65 watts on either USB-C 1 or 2. So it tells you underneath what they are. So it runs backwards for some reason. So 1 is on the right hand side. So we can get 65 watts on either of those. If we plug two things into there, I think one drops to 45. So it's not quite in focus, is it? Yeah, so there's like a key on the back anyway. It tells you how much power you're going to get from each of the ports. But yeah, 120. Oh, there we are, right at the top there. So if we use C1 and C2, we get 45 watts on the one port and 20 on the other. And I thought, you know what? That's just the ticket. That's just what I need in my life. I don't know why. I have got a lot of things that need charging, though. And I don't know if you're like me, but if I see a battery pack that's on offer, I tend to, tend to buy it. So I've got a load of battery packs and a load of these weird chargers. Battery chargers as well. I had a load of battery chargers, and I don't know why I bought so many. I got the power. That was snap that was. I got the power. 
does my YouTube stream keep stopping at all? Because my little stream elements keeps popping up and it tends to do that at the start of a stream. Hey, yeah, mate, sounds great. Mate, it's a good microphone. I am using it through my mixing desk though, so I do remember that. Source has bought a, a power bank recently. Source, I've got loads of them and I can never find them. I put them in bags and in drawers and I forget that I've got them. I see one on offer and I buy myself a new one, then I find the old one. Got so many of them. And then they bring out the new tech, like you had Quick Charge 2. I was like, I need one of those. Then Quick Charge 3 came out, Quick Charge 4. So I'll just end up upgrading battery packs and I've still got the old ones. But yeah, I mean, as I say, my phone has never, I've never seen super speed charging on my phone, but I did with this. <laughs> I was like, mate, that's awesome. And even if I use the USB-A ports, I still got fast charging, which is what I normally get with my phone. But I tried it in those three, super speed charging. It's like, mate, I like it. No sound either. So you plug it in and you know how some, some of these things tend to have like a little wine or something to them. Not like the drink wine. Like a weird high pitch noise. Completely silent that. Um, didn't get hot either. Always a bonus. So I will be plugging that in again in a moment because I've got stuff like these little lights that I need to charge. Oosh. Power bank. Yeah, they really are. They really are. On 20,000. I think... Um, I think I've got one that's 20,000. The original one I got was like a show me one, which I think was 10,000. Uh, Ami... Ami... Lo... Lo... Ami Lo Lo. Welcome. How we doing? All the way from kick. How is life, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Dancing. Hello, buddy. And you in the future. Yeah, we're in the future over here. Nearly, nearly 10 past four for us now. Oh, yeah, mate. Massive upgrade. Band work Disney World. I love dancing with you, mate. I can't dance. You've seen me on the videos. Lighting looking. Oh, cheers, dude. Yeah, those are my nano leaf lights in the background. I've got them on the carousel. I think. Never quite sure what I put on my carousel. Yes, there they are. So we've got the nano leaf shapes and the nano leaf canvas. So shapes are these ones I've just turned off. Uh, do you know what? Let me go back to my wireless mic so I can move around. Hello, hello. Back on my old wireless microphone. Let me change my little ticker. Sorry, I think I came through twice there as well. Probably had a little bit of echo. So I've done the usual thing of leaving one of the microphones enabled. Like how the red and the orange is diffusing. <laughs> nah, not for me. Not today, buddy. Not about that life. Yeah, so these lights, you can actually... They're touch panels, so I can, if it works. My cats are better at doing that than me. So you can just swipe over them and switch them on and off. But my cats tend to rub themselves up against it and they turn them on and off. And sometimes I struggle to do it. But yeah, if you've got a stream deck like we have here, I can start, I can start turn brightness up and down on them as well. So really useful. I can start changing different light colors. And I've got both of the sets of lights set up. So those are shapes. These are canvas over there. So I could turn my canvas off if I like. Once again, can turn my brightness down and up. They work with HomeKit, uh, IFTTT, Alexa, Google Assistant. So you can talk to them and turn them on and off. That's quite funky, isn't it, like that? Whoosh. Yeah, so, I mean, I tend to just use it through the stream deck. Last chance, how we doing? Where are you from? I'm from the UK, buddy. From the UK, with my dodgy accent. 
But yes, yeah, last chance. How we doing, mate? Saucy put that it feels warm. It does feel warm. I'm going to have these lights on during the winter months and hopefully save an electric when I don't turn the radiators on. Or gas, whatever they are. I don't know. But yeah, they're, they're good. They're really good. I'm, I'm going to quickly test the Alexa. So I did set it up. I presume it's still set up. Alexa, turn off shapes. Okay. Alexa, turn off canvas. Okay. Nice. I'm starting a new job in December. Oh, what are we doing in December, dude? Yeah, so you can talk to Alexa. Alexa, turn on canvas. Okay. Alexa, turn on shapes. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, so you can use it with like Alexa, Google Assistant, anything like that. So you can just have a little chat with Alexa and get them to turn the lights on and off. Stone man. Best stream. No, I'm not the best streamer, dude. You were the best streamer. Quality control for Arrow Video. Tremendous, dude. Alexa talk like Pikachu. Oh, do you know what? I did have my... I tested it last stream. It worked. Let me go back to my, my main microphone. Let me plug this bad boy back in. Ah, oh, Scotland. I always imagine that it's raining very badly in Scotland. But I can't say nothing because it's been raining here as well. Oh, are you into football? A Scottish football fan. Hello, hello, hello. Right, here we go. Right, now I think I've still got a... a filter on my microphone, so I can change the way that I sound. Let me find it. Right, chipmunk voice, are we ready? <laughs> There we are, got another little voice now. Hopefully you can hear that. And then let's go back to our normal voice. Oosh, hello, hello. Yeah, I've not done that for a while. I should really put that as like a... A redeem. No idea what you were saying. I I never have any idea what I'm saying either. Even with my normal voice, I'm very difficult to understand. Yeah. Oh, saucy. I, you weren't here when I, I showed this off. I've just had myself a new case for my memory cards. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. So I can fit, like, how many... Two, four, six. I can fit 12 memory cards in. Well, I can fit 24 in because we got the micro SD cards in there. But you can also put a, a full size SD over the top if you want to. Very nice. I mean, the image on Amazon shows somebody about to drive over it with a car as well. So they're claiming that it's very robust, which to be fair, it is well built. That thing is cool, but my little memory card holder. Yeah, I bought it the other day. I thought, you know what, I like that. Because my original one that I had was this little metal one, which is a little bit flimsy. So I might just put this one in the car. But yeah, this one is seriously robust. And I mean, so far I can like, open and close it and these cars don't fall out of place which is very nice I bought a 260 gig hard drive for a dollar my that is tremendous that is an absolute bargain you've done well there that's a good point imagine losing 24 cards I mean at least with this one there's only a few card slots in there not too much to lose but yeah, if I lost that, I lost 24 cards. 
nightmare. But be, yeah, do you know, I've actually not got that many. I've got some in my car, which I do actually need to pull out. But uh, I tend to just find memory cards laying around. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what's on this memory card. I put it in, it's, it's empty. <laughs> Why have I got this card? It's doing nothing. <laughs> I'm cutting edge from 10 years ago. Mate, that's good price, though. I'd run something like Crystal Disk Info on there just to have a quick look at the... how many hours it's been switched on. But, mate, can't grumble for a dollar. Although I bought... Oh, did you buy the face cam? The Pro. The good... I'll say the good one. The other one was good as well. The brand new one. How much did we pay for that one, Saucy? But yeah, I I sat in there live stream when they were first showing that, that off. It looked really good. 250. Nice. I know it was out of stock for absolute ages. And then I just I stopped looking. I imagine it's probably in stock again now. I'm going to have a quick look actually. Uh, Elgato Facecam Pro. Right, so we can get in Amazon UK for 300. True 4K 60. Oosh, lovely. Should arrive this week. Yeah, mate, it should do a, a good job. Nice. Right. I don't think anybody wants to look at anything else on Amazon. So do keep an eye out. We've got... Um, I've got a new webcam coming up soon. I I will probably show it on next week's stream with a little bit of luck. And I will have a look at this mixer as well. The old Fine Fine SC3. So we will have a quick look at that. But as I said earlier, I don't think it's going to be like the... Go XLR Mini, where we can mess around with equalization. I think this is literally just going to let us turn things up and down. But we'll have a play. Did you manage to add those clips to the stream? Which clips was it, mate? You'll have to remind me. You know what I'm like with my memory. I don't remember nothing. It's Tom, how are we doing? My bank, you're going to be buying a second PC for myself. Going to be taking my current PC to Dad. Fucking expensive. They can be very expensive. Oh, just, do you know what? It's my PC. Oh, let me have a look. I did, I did get it. I've just forgot where I put it. Was it? Nah, it's not that one. Oh, I've got it. Yes, do you remember these happy days? Look at that. Used to have hair. I was thinner then as well. Look at those moves, dude. Look at those. Happy days. Oh, damn. I used to say how fat I was there. And I look at myself now. I'm an absolute car wreck. Yes. I found them saucy. Yes, we'll have to uh, show those on one of the streams soon. Maybe in the week. Right. I think we're done. I think we're going to make a move. Right. As always, an absolute pleasure. Thank you for sitting here, checking out some products with us. Hopefully, I will have more info on this mixing desk for next stream and the other webcam that I've got. And we will show you those in action so you can see if it's something that would benefit you. Cheapskate, absolute pleasure, dude. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching the videos. And yeah, if you need any help with anything, feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to assist. Discord link. Yeah, do you know what, Moff? I think I need to take my panels off on, on, um, on Twitch, to be fair. 
Yeah, I've not really messed about with Twitch too much. But uh, thank you for letting me know. I will put it on the list. I'll be on the case. You probably need to remind me just to put it on the list. Because my memory is shockingly bad. Right, let's start saying goodbye, Kick. Pleasure. Right, Twitch. Have a good one. It is October, Saucer. It is October. Right, Twitch. Thank you. See you soon. Right, YouTube. Absolute pleasure as always. Thank you for supporting us and basically watching the videos. And hopefully we can create more content in the future, which is going to help you out. So have a great Sunday.